Hi. I was being really weird in front of the camera for many minutes straight and this is my take number five actually. Yes, I'm not supposed to edit this video at all which is the most difficult thing regarding this video. Well, everything about this video is a torture. Not because the topic is uh, prominently disturbing or anything, but I'm an awkward being in front of the camera and I have to edit the hell out of it. And I hope this didn't sound rude or wrong, but yeah, I have to edit it fully because first I need to color correct it and secondly I have to trim the parts that are far too awkward for my taste and for your taste as well. But the point of this video is to list five books. Okay, you can do this, Shema. Okay, you can do this. Why am I saying this? Because I messed up uh, the messed up with the video. Ah, whatever. Yeah, my English was so horrendous, and it actually is still. But my English was so horrendous while I was trying to describe what the video was about. So I had to record several takes of this video. But what this uh, content will be about is this oh, English. Please forgive my terrible language skills, but yes, this video is going to be about um, five books that I'm planning on reading and I will predict that I will give five star ratings to them. Yeah, the books are chosen uh, according to how I'm likely to enjoy them. I hope that's made sense because I don't want to record this video ever again. So, my friend Lana tagged me in this challenge and I thank her a lot for this torture. No, no, I seriously thank you, thank her, thank you Lana, thank her, <laughs> yeah, for this challenge because it uh, first of all means that I'm considered a friend of hers, which is an honor. Secondly, she kind of helped me with n new video ideas and thirdly, I hope I will start on reading books again after this video. What I meant by reading books again is that I used to be an avid bookworm. What does this even mean? I used to be an avid book reader. I used to be a bookworm and I used to like read 700 pages of an English text in one go sometimes or 800 or 600. It depends. I mean, not approx approximately these numbers of, of course, because no book is ever 600 pages long. They are usually like 632 or blah blah. I'm rambling again. Am I not? Please forgive me. But yeah. So, yes. Now, uh, since I was tagged by Lana, I want to take on this challenge. I want to read more because due to my depression, OCD, anxiety and other issues, I stopped reading uh, and I only read for university purposes and for checking on my friends on social media and people I admire on social media. I read their captions and all, but I rarely read books nowadays. So I want to take on this reading habit again. And let's get started with this challenge. I took some notes as Lana did in her video because I'm forgetful. Wow, this light really looks so nice. I wish I had considered it before, but now my face is enlightened by some really nice periwinkle kind of light and I like it for some reason. By the way, I lit some candles there for a cozy atmosphere because I'm totally not copying Lana here. I am. And I also wanted to be a bit... Uh, I wa also wanted to have some sort of a more nice atmosphere, some cozy space. But I kind of failed because my room is not really nice looking. But I lit some candles there and I hope that I don't burn the house. <laughs> my cat is outside, fortunately, because I definitely don't want her to mess with the fire. I don't want her to get hurt. And I hope, nevertheless, I still hope the house won't get burned down. So without further ado, this is the second or third time I'm saying this, but without further ado, now the fourth time, without further ado, now the fifth time. Okay, I'm so, so, so cringy. But without further ado, let's get started. My first book that I plan on reading is, I actually have it here. I purchased this 
from a bookstore here is the Three Musketeers or Trois Mousquetaires or something like that in French. My pronunciation might be horrible, but I used to know French quite well. I mean, not quite well. It was B2 level or something, but uh, whatever. It's gone, gone. And what I want to say about this book was that, yeah, its author, it's by Alexandre Dumas, the Père One, the... what kind of a pronunciation was it? The Père, Père, Père One? Yeah, the Father One, uh, the Alexandre Dumas Father. And yeah, it, I recently read his other book. I mean, this Three Musketeers is very famous, but I read uh, the Count of Monte Cristo during summer, and I fell in love. I, it's I think one of my most favorite books, along with *The Still Marillion* by J.R.R. Tolkien, and I really like this book. It was so dramatic, so heart wrenching. It was horrible, but really nice, and it taught me some lessons about life as well. But I want to read *Three Musketeers* as well because I want to get to know the author's style a bit more. I'm curious about the storyline as well, even though I know nothing. And I only heard of the book. I heard of some of the characters and I don't even remember their names now. Uh, but I want to get to know the characters, the storyline, everything about this book, because I'm curious. Yeah, why else would I read it? I'm curious and I want to... Maybe there might be other reasons for reading for academic reasons, for entertainment purposes, for... I don't know. I'm not very good at um, interpreting people's intentions, especially now. So let me pass on to the next book on our list, which is... yeah, how did I even forget? Okay, another French author this time, and I still want to pursue the French history with these books, even though they're fictional, yeah. So it's the Les Miserables. Uh, it's the Les Miserables, what even is that? So it's Les Miserables by... I think I'm pronouncing it pretty wrong, but Les Miserables. Les Miserables, <laughs> whatever, I cannot pronounce it. And yeah, by Victor Hugo, and I want to... <laughs> my pronunciation, oh my. Even my English pronunciation is quite annoying today, but we will pursue our goals. And I don't want to self-criticize, I don't want to... Um, what's it called? Like... Demolish myself? No, not this is not the word. But yeah, I don't want to... You know, I don't want to be harsh to myself today, especially in front of the camera, because then you will think I'm an extra negative person, which might be slightly true, but I don't want you to dislike me for being negative. And I'm sorry if I am acting sarcastically. I'm actually not being sarcastic, but it's, my voice might sound as such. Okay, I'm rambling quite a lot, so let's proceed on to the next book I was going to say, but I haven't yet finished talking about Les Miserables. Again, weird pronunciation. Don't do this to yourself, Shema. It's an okay pronunciation, okay? You are fine. Yes, master. No. <laughs> okay, I'm just rambling in front of the camera and trying to be funny or I don't even know what I'm doing. Hashtag, I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah. So, in Les Miserables, uh, I only know the characters Cosette and Jean Valjean, Jean Valjean, I think. I don't even remember the names properly. I checked them on Google prior to this video, I must admit. But I knew these characters because we had a Turkish literature class and we would read some segments from this book in Turkish though. Its original is French, but whatever, I'm going to read it in English. Uh, because, yeah, I want to improve my English skills and vocabulary. And uh, I want to get to know French history, the perception of the perception of the French people, how the revolution take revol revolution take pl took place, and so on through this book. And I hope I will enjoy it and give it give it a five star rating. And the next book on this series would be The Witcher by. I don't know how to pronounce his name, so I'm not even going to try. But it's a Polish book series, It's and it has some video games. 
um, that are focused on this Witcher universe and you probably know about it but if you don't I'm not able to, I will not be able to inform you about it either yet because I haven't read the books. I have start I have actually started the first book which consists of short stories uh, accompanying Geralt of Rivia along his journey and I liked the first story but there were some bits uh, and pieces w between the stories that confused me a bit. Were they hallucinations of Geralt? Were they some memories of him? I don't know. And I got detached, I got, I lost my focus and I kind of got bored but I want to give it another chance because the lore and the environment, the atmosphere really seems interesting. And so of my acquaintances are interested in the Witcher universe so I want to give it another try and I hope I will really like it this time. It wasn't bad but I don't know, I lost focus but I really want to give it another chance because I was so hyped about this and I actually own the games which I haven't played yet. I mean my brother owns them but still it counts as if I own them as well, right? If only he lets me play them. Yeah. The next book, the fourth one, is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen and I only know the character and I forgot her name. Elizabeth Bennet, I think. Yeah, let's check. Yes, Elizabeth Bennet. <laughs> I don't even know what this storyline talks about but as far as I know it's about the manners of British people, how this character gets educated about their culture, their behavioral patterns of the... some sort of royalty but not royalty exactly. I don't know but I will find, uh, find it out and yes it's a shame I haven't read this book even though I have read so many classics and I actually don't remember almost any of them but I really li used to like the classics and I'm sure I haven't read this one otherwise I would know even though I wouldn't remember the characters I've, or the events, I would know if I read the book or not and I haven't read this one. So I will read this and I hope I will really like it and give it a 5 star rating. Last but not least, uh, the next book is Interview with a Vampire and it's... it focuses on vampires I guess <laughs> from the name. I don't know much about the book to be honest. I just saw some cosplays of the characters Lestat or however he is pronounced as Lestat. I don't know. Lestat I guess. Louis and Amand. Amon. I don't know what their nationalities are or how their names are supposed to be pronounced but is it really important? Yes. For me at least. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah. So I know some of the characters from some cosplays of some acquaintances, some old acquaintances and friends and I want to get to know these characters better, the events better and I'm frankly interested in vampires for some reason. I was always interested in vampires when I was a teenager, when I was even kind of a child. <laughs> yeah, it sounds wrong but I used to read so many vampire novels. So this will be my last book of the list and done! Let's turn off the camera <laughs> and it's done before I make any mistakes. Or should I ramble along a bit more? No, huh? I sh I'm supposed to tag people but I don't know anyone who uses YouTube and who is a follower of mine that wants to do this challenge and has a YouTube channel. So I'm not tagging anyone in particular, but if you want to do this, please consider yourself tagged and tag me in the video. The original challenge is of course not by me. It's... Uh, I was just merely... I was merely tagged by Lana. And I will put the name of the original creator of this challenge as well. And I hope you have enjoyed this silly little video. I'm really looking forward for your comments. And please don't roast or burn me with harsh criticisms. Of course, criticisms are very welcome, but please make them... What was the word? Constructive. Yeah, please, please don't be negative. I mean, you can be negative in your life. You can have sorrows, grief and all. But please don't be negative towards me in a harsh way. What am I even saying? <laughs> okay, please forgive me for my rambling and good night from Turkey. It's... what time is it? It's 11.30. Yeah.
Good night. Now I have to turn this off. I, am I not? Yeah. Uh, am I supposed... Ah, oh, yeah, I have to turn this off. I cannot even talk. Okay, goodbye, fancy outro. Hey, okay. Goodbye.